Well, several of the governor's general and former cabinet colleagues attended this morning's swearing-in ceremony, including former Minister for the Environment, Earl DeVoe, and former National Security Minister, Tommy Turnquest, who boasted of His Excellency's dedication to country. For Grand Bahamians, this is a very, very proud day. Uh, we, we now have the Governor General and the Deputy Prime Minister representing Grand Bahama, uh, and it's a recognition that our, our island is truly the second uh, uh, island, second city in, in the Bahamas. Uh, and we have so much industrious people, so much to offer this country in terms of our experiences, in terms of uh, uh, the way that we have uh, developed as an island and as a city. I mean, from a barefoot boy in Long Island on Snow Hill to the hill. And I, I think that, that, that just that tells you that uh, it, everything is limitless in the Bahamas now. BC, when you heard Mr. Smith was going to be appointed Governor General, what was your reaction? Well, let, let me be honest. I was not surprised. Is he has that demeanor, that uh, statesman appearance, and he understands politics, he knows people, and he knows what is required in that position. Well, a large contingent of family and friends from Grand Bahama traveled to New Providence for the historic ceremony. We spoke with a member of parliament for East Grand Bahama, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable Peter Turnquest, and His Excellency's longtime friend Rudy Meadows and Vernal Colebrook. I served with CA mm -hmm. in the cabinet, mm -hmm. and listening to the Prime Minister read his credits this morning reminded me so much of his contribution. And so it was really a pleasure for me to be there and witness that. I don't know if it means the same thing to other people, but when I know personally of the sacrifices people made fighting for our democracy and to participate in a ceremony like that, I can only rejoice. I think that, you know, in elevating to the status of, of, of Governor General, and I've had an opportunity with my father having served yes, yes, as, uh, as, as Governor General, it, it is important uh, to unite the nation. And so I, I try not to speak of him in partisan political terms now because he's now elevated to another role uh, and you know he said he said the right thing this morning um, in terms of uh, unifying the country I think the, 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 the country is divided and and we have to find a way and I think uh, government house should should be that role and whatever I can do to assist in that regard I'm happy to do